welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Today, we're going to talk about this whole concept of put me in coach. Those individuals who are in your care, that you're thinking about promoting, they're interested in being promoted, and now you're trying to understand what are the things that you're going to do to help them. When promoting a person in your care into a manager position, what are your responsibilities to make sure that as a new manager, they make a successful transition? No different than as a player on a team, you know, as we saw in the previous, you know, as, as Andrew was building his lineup, it could be an individual who makes that starting lineup for the first time. What's his responsibility? What's a coach's responsibility to make sure that person can be successful in their debut, right? Because if you have a good success in your debut, if you have a good success, at least early on in your new promotion, you, you start to give them a better chance to be successful. They start to believe in themselves. I believe as the leader who is making that promotion recommendation, you have two clear responsibilities to that person. The first is to clearly identify your expectations. What are your expectations that you have for them in this new role and responsibilities? I think that's so important. I finally get that opportunity. I raised my hand and said, put me in coach. You're you're the promoting management person at the time. You made the recommendation. Mm-hmm. I would like to start talking about what's your responsibility first in all of this as, as the promoting person. I, I think that you clearly have to this, describe to this individual that they're the ambassador, the brand ambassador now for the organization, right? Their role and responsibility now is centered around the fact that people look up to them. Difficult place to be, right? Because you just went from being maybe an hourly person or a supervisor, and now you're moving to manager. You went from maybe being, you know, the, the first person off the bench or that person that, you know, everybody counted on in the late innings for defense. And now all of a sudden you're starting There's many different ways. Maybe you are a substitute teacher that now has the opportunity to move up into being a, a teacher in, in, in the classroom permanently. These are all difficult responsibilities and difficult, although you want that job. You drive home at night thinking, okay, I got it. Now, good news is I got the promotion. The bad news is I think I got the promotion. Right. So what are your responsibility as the leader, as the promotion person, as the person putting them in to help them understand what what do you expect of them? I think sometimes we assume that people know what we want from them. I think they have to understand that they get results now through others. The first tendency is going to be go to their strength. Their strength was we just did the job. Their strength is... You know, I know I can feel the strength is I know I can do this. Well, now their job isn't as the leader isn't to maybe feel maybe they're the manager. Maybe now I'm, you know, I'm responsible for individuals. So I have to clearly understand that I get results through others. I think they have to understand they're part of a larger organization now. They have to engage with HR. They may not have in the past. They have to engage with accounting, uh, operations, maybe sales, depending on their role responsibility. So you're going to have to understand that they may never have done that engagement before. And then finally, I think they have to make sure that they become familiar with company policies and procedures and practices so that they don't get bogged down or get themselves in trouble. So I think the first major responsibility in this put me in coach or in your responsibility as a promoting manager is your ability to lay out what your expectations of them are. Well, next, we're going to talk about the second part of that. I think it's important, though, as you're trying to step people up successfully to clearly understand what your role responsibility is. And then at some point in the next few episodes, we'll get to what the responsibility of the promotee is. Thanks for listening. I hope you find these episodes helpful. Until we meet again, thank you for being part of the Leadership Library podcast.